Your lesson essential question today is how can we find time intervals? So yesterday we were working on elapsed time, how much time has passed. Today we're finding time intervals, which is not just how much is time has passed, but really any amount of time. So maybe you do your homework for 30 minutes. That's a time interval. So still focusing on time. A time interval is an amount of time. Let's say I have this word problem. Joaquin made a list of the times he should spend on different activities. Joaquin has practiced playing the piano for 35 minutes so far. How much longer does he need to practice? So take a second and tell someone in the room what we're trying to find. Okay, and we are trying to find how much longer he needs to practice. What information in this problem is going to help us solve it? Okay, we know that he practiced for 35 minutes so far. Hmm, how am I supposed to know how much longer? I don't know how long he's supposed to practice. All I know is he's done 35 minutes so far. What can I do to figure out how long he's supposed to practice? All right, looking down at the little chart that he made, I see he's supposed to practice for 45 minutes. So how can I figure out that time interval between how long he's already practiced and how long he's supposed to practice? I know that 35 is less than 45, so he's not done yet. Well, one way I can do that is by drawing a bar diagram. So a bar diagram, the whole thing shows the total. We know that he's supposed to practice for 45 minutes. Now, we know that he's got some time left. So let's look. So far, he's done 35. So I know there's an amount of time here that he still needs to work. I can turn this into an equation. 35 plus what he has left is going to equal 45. Now 35 plus blank equals 45. I can use mental math to solve that. I know 35, if I count 5 more, is 40, and then 5 more is 45. So 5 and 5, that's 10. He has 10 more minutes to practice. So I can use addition to find that missing time interval. And I can also draw a bar diagram that will help me visualize. Something else I can do is I can draw a number line. Remember, a number line starts at the smallest number and ends with the greatest number. So I know that he starts at of course, zero, because he hasn't practiced at all before he started. And I know in the end, he needs to practice for 45 minutes. So 45 is my total, but he's not there yet. So what do I need to take away to get the th missing time that he hasn't practiced yet. So 45 minus that missing time equals the 35 he's already done. We're going to count backwards. So I know 45 is between 50 and 40.
if I count by tens, there's 30. Can have 20 and 10. So he starts at zero. He needs to do 45. He's only done 35. So we're going to take away some time. Let's count backwards. So uh, 35 is between 30 and 40. So I'm going to put 35 in there and we can count backwards by fives. So 45, we've got five, we've got 10. So we're taking away five, taking away 10. So 45 minus 10. So to find a time interval, we can add, we can subtract, and we can make models like bar diagrams and number lines to help us count forwards and backwards to find time intervals.